We spent a good few days exploring all that Karajini had to offer, visiting all the gorges, wading through water and having a ball, before heading to Dampier so Rusty could tick this off her bucket list. Hey guys, so I just left Dampier this morning, uh, headed down to Exmouth today. We popped in at Red Dog, got a photo. Yeah, I got a photo of Rusty and Red Dog on our way out. We didn't realise how far away Exmouth is from um, Dampier. It was like five hours. Yeah, over a five and a half hour drive. So that was a bit of a rookie That's mistake. Damn. But we booked into a van park, so we just cruise on the drive for the day and we'll then head over to this afternoon. Yeah. But yeah, I can't wait to uh, explore the Coral Coast. We got a boat hire all lined up with uh, our mates, Camp Oscar. Glenn and Shanae, so that'll be good. The five hour drive wasn't very scenic, but we both couldn't wait to get to Exmouth and into exploring. We settled into our van park and the next day visited the local visitor centre to get some maps. With Rusty having a snooze in the caravan, we decided to go check out Charlie's Knife Canyon. Wow, incredible. Well worth the drive up. We drove a little further up the road to view some more parts of the canyon before heading back down for some more sightseeing. Kurt saw there was a jetty close by and was keen to wet a line, so he headed there for a few flicks. No fish, so moving on. Just up the road was the Potty Shop Memorial. A nice informative memorial about the defence history of the area. We swung back to the van to have some lunch and picked little Rusty up for our afternoon tour. First stop to the Exmouth Lighthouse. Lots of bits and pieces to look at and learn about as we strolled around. From here, we could also get to see the start of the Nigaloo Coast. And boy, did we like what we could see. We headed down the hill and off to view the nearby shipwreck off the point. There is information up at the lighthouse on how the Majuro wreck came to be. We won't spoil it for you, but it looked like a pretty good snorkel spot. Mm -hmm. 
We then headed down to Bandaji Beach for a look. A nice dog friendly beach and another jetty. It looked promising, but again, I came up fishless. There was a huge bait ball floating around, which was pretty cool. Ah, new day. So time to head into Cape Range for a look. Keen for a snorkel and a swim, we headed straight around to Turquoise Bay. Look at the colour of that water. We couldn't wait to jump in the water. It was so clear and a beautiful temperature. We walked just around the corner to the popular turquoise drift loop. Flippers test, check. As soon as our mast hit the water, we saw plenty of underwater activity, fish and coral galore. We even spotted this baby shark. Wow, what a first spot to see in Cape Range. We loved it. After our snorkel, we headed back around to the main bay for some relaxing. We looked at our watches and checked the tide. Yep, perfect time to go out and check the oyster stacks. Another snorkel spot. You can only snorkel here on high tide. They actually close it and only open access to it during the high tide period. So with that being said, we jumped in and started snorkeling. Start exploring underwater, you'll see why it's called oyster stacks. With all that snorkeling, we worked up quite an appetite. We headed to the beach shack near the Bundigi Beach. Now this was a beachside cafe. We ordered some coffees and shared a burger. That afternoon and the following morning, we simply relaxed around Exmouth. I had a fish at the marina and this is where we spotted our first turtle. Later on that afternoon, our two good mates, Blaine and Sinead, arrived into town and we all headed out to visit the local breweries. First stop was to the Whalebone Brewery. We have loose sparkies in their natural habitat. <laughs> 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 the beers were delicious and it was a really nice venue. Plenty of stuff to keep the kids busy while the adults relaxed. A short 10 minute ride down the road to our next brewery. Frothcraft Brewery was in the town centre. We locked up our bikes and headed in for round two of tastings.
another nice relaxing atmosphere. Blaine decided he wanted to spin the wheel behind the bar to try and win us some drinks. <laughs> oh, we love it. Woo. Going today. <laughs> Unfortunately, he only won two pints instead of the major prize of six. While inside, we spotted this foosball table in the corner of the room and of course, had to have a match. It was a fierce battle between Spuckies on the Loose and Camp Australius, but we're proud to say we are undefeated foosball champions. After a great night out, we responsibly walked our bikes home to cook some dinner. This was the van park we stayed at while in Exmouth. Nothing fancy, but worked well for a base camp for us during our few nights day. Join us next time as we pick up a tinny and head out to Ningaloo Station to hopefully catch bulk fish. Love our videos? Why not help support us on Patreon? If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. Cheers, legends.